Hello dear students, welcome to the lecture 11 of Introduction to Programming with C Sharp course. Uh, so I have I have updated my uh, Visual Studio and uh, some uh, students uh, asked me that they cannot find .NET Core. You see, .NET Core is now named as .NET. Okay, so this is .NET Core and this is .NET Framework, which is the uh, older, uh, let's say, older framework. Uh, so now .NET Core is named as VPF of .NET. Uh, this week we will continue from our uh, previous uh, week's source code. Okay, so uh, I will copy and paste it uh, to keep it as it is. Okay, and let's uh, start our uh, project and continue from there. It is still named as lecture 10, however, don't get confused. Uh, at this lecture, we are continuing from uh, wherever we have, uh, have left. Okay, and one moment. Okay, uh, so the application is uh, loaded. Let's open our main window. Uh, easy ML file okay so we were designing a uh, login and uh, register windows if you remember and uh, I will continue from uh, register uh, pop register function okay so you see at the code behind we have only uh, complete register click and uh, it uh, first validates the username is valid or not actually we should not we should not write our code at our uh, main window class okay we should not populate it uh, we should make it as much as clear uh, with lesser amount of code how can I do that this is our main window class, as you can see. How can I do that? I can do that by uh, moving my methods to external classes. Okay. You see, like we have used helper class here. Uh, so to the uh, so I am going to add uh, another class to do main functions. Okay. Let's add class and name it as main functions. Okay. You can give any name you want. It is totally up to you. I am going to make this class as static. Why I am doing it static? Because uh, I will not compose instances of this class. This class will do only certain uh, functions will execute on certain methods therefore i don't need it to be initialized as an instance this will not hold some uh, variables for example if you are developing an application uh, which will uh, let let's say which will manage uh, autonomous cars uh, in a crowded traffic you would need objects to hold uh, or define instances of each car right because, uh, 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 let's say you will you would have a class named as car car class and for each car on the traffic uh, you would compose an instance of that class however in here i don't need instances therefore i am using static we will see more about static versus instances and such in the next semester. Don't get, don't try to understand it uh, at the moment. So uh, first, I am defining public static, and um, 
string other than string or let's say public static and helper method yes let's return helper method uh, helper methods uh, and in helper methods I have action result right right now I am thinking how should we um, how should we how should we make it Okay, let's just uh, okay let's write another this time I will use a uh, tuple and Yeah, I will do that. Public static tuple. So tuples are uh, like lists and um, you can have multiple uh, variables inside a tuple and access them uh, directly. Uh, you will understand how uh, we can use it. So first variable will be bool, the boolean result of the registration function and the second will be setting the message of the registration result and uh, try to register so this will be the method name so it is uh, public therefore it is publicly accessible it is static therefore i don't have to uh, initialize uh, generate an instance of it so i'm cutting this and putting it here you see uh, I cannot access the uh, username from here. However, from with referencing it like this, oh, I still cannot access it. If I okay, I think I need. Uh, I have to provide the instance of main window. Main window has an instance. You see, it is not static. Therefore, uh, it has instance. The instance is. Uh, composite when we run the application therefore I have to send this class as a reference to do this method to access its uh, items if I want to access this uh, text box from this class I have to send reference of that window to this class so it is from main window type uh, and I will rename it as uh, main window instance okay so this will be reference and I will be able to access its elements uh, from uh, this class this class is the main functions another class and when I call uh, try to register uh, it will be like this bool uh, string and uh, register result equal to um, main functions try to register and i will send as reference this this means it will be sending you see when i double click this it highlights main window so this is the instance of main window okay so let's run our application to understand better and you see there is no message box here because message box uh, is available in uh, uh, it is available in i think system windows and we don't have that here uh, also it will it would require instance of main window 
Therefore, what we are going to do is uh, result. Oh, we don't need even result. Uh, I will return a new tuple and it will be equal to result. It will be like this new tuple. And so, first uh, item will be a boolean. Uh, we are result that bool result and we are result that uh, message. Okay. So, uh, this is my return type as you can see here. I am basically returning the result returning from our check if username valid. And what was the check if username valid method returning? It returns a failure message. And if it is failed, it returns false. And if not, it returns true. Okay, by default, we have assigned it true. All right, so okay, now we can run our application to test and see how it is working. You will understand better. It may be confused for you at the first. Uh, so you have to write and do tests yourself. Okay, so let's type try 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 and complete register Okay, so when I hover my mouse over this keyword, it, it shows me that lecture 10 main window. So the main window is Let's run the application main window is this one. You see this is the main window window itself uh, as from name and uh, this is the instance of this main window when your application starts it starts an instance of main window and it is decided from here you see in app.xml code there is startup URI. you see this means that my application will start an instance of main window xml and the namespace will be lecture 10. Okay, don't, don't try to understand this right now. And when I hover my mouse to over this, we will see every element and properties that the main window has. You see, it has so many properties and elements. Okay, let's just continue. I will get into the method with step into. Okay. So this is the uh, new method we have coded and you see it will call our help method with dot check if username valid and you see it is getting the uh, text uh, we have written as try from the main window instance and uh, now I have uh, step it into the check if username valid and it will check whether it is valid or not okay you see with every step it is executing as we wanted and the result is returned then it will return as a tuple let's continue okay so when i go to next step you see the register result is a tuple and the item one is true so it says that this username is valid therefore there is no error message okay Okay, so if uh, in here, if uh, register result is success, okay, I will move to the next step or uh, I think I will uh, code that into the main functions as well. So a result has returned from the check if username valid, then I will uh, move to the next uh, method with checking first if it is true or if it is false. Okay, if it is false, uh, I will return the message and will not continue. Uh, 
Okay, let's make it like this. Mm. Oh, no, let's let's keep it simple uh, for now. So if it is false, it will return this thing as a message. You see, now it says me that not all code paths return a value. Eh? Okay, if it is not false, we will continue. And this time we will check if the uh, password is valid or not. Okay, so what rules we have uh, with password check? First, they have to match. Okay, the first rule uh, we need to check with password is they have to match. So I'm going to code another method. Okay, and I'm going to name it as check if password is valid. So this will take two passwords, uh, pv1 and pv repeat okay so let's uh, start with the first rule if uh, pv1 is not equal to pv2 password 2 uh, password repeat the result will be false and the message will be uh, Uh, your entered passports are not matching please re-enter your password okay so we did the first check then we will uh, force user to use minimum uh, eight character password so let's define its rule here mean password length okay let's make it as eight Okay, so if the length of the password is uh, smaller than 8, we will return that. Characters. By the way, uh, with usernames, uh, we need to do some normalization. We shouldn't let people uh, to use um, uh, we shouldn't let people to use uh, same username with uh, uppercase and lowercase okay how can we prevent that uh, we need to apply uh, a method to all usernames both in login and in registration uh, to normalize it okay so I am going to write here a method extension um, so you see we use the try to register here and uh, here we provide the register text so you see when i click this these are the method extensions that are possible like to lower to lower invariant substring length and such i am going to write another method extension public static normalize uh, username okay and uh, it will take a string like this 
okay and it will return a string what will be our normalization first uh, we will convert them to uh, lower case however uh, uh, when converting we should also consider accents okay uh, therefore in our application we are targeting both english and turkish users let's say uh, therefore i will use um, accent removal okay uh, non accent or Okay, it is called as dia critics. Uh, this is the correct word. You see, someone has already asked this. This is what I uh, wanted to achieve. I'm trying to convert some strings that are in French Canadian, and basically, I'd like to be able to take out the French accent marks in the letters while keeping the letter. E.g. convert A to E, so creme brulee would become creme brulee. What is the best method for achieving this? So, there is a method for removing diacritics. Like this. Static string remove diacritics. And it uses character unicode info, which is in system globalization. Okay. So and what will this do uh, we will first remove uh, the uh, diacritics by the way remove static okay like this you see currently it it says that no method extension is available if i add here this keyword it becomes an extension if it is static okay so now i can use it like this then what else i need to do i need to convert it to lower case and so i will convert it to, to lower with uh, english culture always uh, new culture info okay okay do i need anything else no First, I will remove the acritics, then I will uh, make to lower, and I will also trim the username. So there will be no space character uh, at the front of the username or at the end of the. I will call this method both in login and registration. Okay. This way. Uh, I will be always applying same uh, chain of events to the username. So whatever the user enters, it will be always uh, convert to the same username. Okay, normalize username. Uh, so with this way. Okay, we make uh, usernames. Uh, case invariant and we make usernames uh, accent invariant we ensure that no space character in the beginning or in the end okay we are ensuring this with our uh, programmatic check okay so uh, when i check the username is valid or not which i am doing uh, in here you see check if username is valid um, uh, let's find it it is done here uh, i will add it to this method okay so username will be equal to uh, normalize username okay 
So you see, it is telling me that no definition or extension. To make it as extension, I am adding this keyword here. So now I can call it like this. Okay. I could also have call it like this equal to uh, normalized username. So this is same as this one. However, uh, you see upper way is better. Okay, so I will be applying this uh, method rule. Don't forget that because we will apply this rule uh, in the login as well. You will understand better that time. So we have applied a normalized username. In password, we won't do any normalization. So as user enters it, we will process it as the user uh, entered. However, we will make some uh rules for users so the password has to be minimum eight characters uh, this is our character check and what other check we will have we will check these three the password has to have uh, a digit okay so how will i check it whether it has digit or not uh, to character array um, Okay, you see there is a digit method. Character is digit. In the case whether the specified uh, Unicode character is decimal digit or not. Uh, so, I can make it, uh, I can use link queue or I can use the traditional way. For now, I will use traditional way. Equal false. Um, equal false and use false. Smaller case equals false and. So you see, I have generated five different uh, booleans and what will they do? They will be used to check whether password satisfies these rules or not. Okay. So how will I check that? I will do it like this. For each uh, password one to character array. So this will be a character. Or I can also make it as string, but character should work. And um, I have to also define special characters. I wonder if any built in system. Okay, these are link you, but I am doing right now the traditional way. So we can, we could also you uh, done it like this. Okay, I think I will uh, define a special character list myself that I want user to use at least uh, list. Uh, let's make it character. equal to 
the special character list. So here we will define the special characters. So add character, okay, and hashtag character, dollar character. These will uh, make our password stronger. Person character, okay, and character. What else? Perhaps star character and this one, this one and perhaps this one. Okay, these are enough, I think. So we have defined at least one of these uh, special character to be use it in the password it is totally up to you you can expand this or make this uh, shrink this and there was another thing uh, were, there, were there another thing okay no there is no no okay and so you see, we have converted our string into character array and we have started uh, a for each loop. So if uh, per character is or like this is digit. Okay. If uh, any character in the array in the username is digit then it means it contains digit true okay this can be done in such shorter way with a uh, link you i will also show that this is the traditional way then uh, if contains letters so it means that letters i will tell letters then uh, if uppercase is upper then contains uppercase true okay and then if smaller case it means smaller case is true okay then uh, contains special character how will i make it check whether it contains special character or not like this and the special character list contains okay per character equal to true okay i don't write it so you see when you don't use anything it means that if this condition is true okay so if contains if this list contains uh, this character that means that a special character is used therefore special character is use it okay and then i can uh, check if con each condition is uh, satisfied or not and define special messages so you see this is, this means that if it is true and if it is not true i am using this one uh, when i use uh, this operator it uh, how was it called? Okay, so this is reverse. Let's read it reverses the bool result of bool expression returns false if result is true and returns true if result is false i think this was uh, this uh, operand has a name i'm trying to find its name
ok Okay, it is called as negation operator. Okay. Okay. Okay, so when I add this, it negates the boolean. Therefore, if it is true, then when I negate it, it this uh, condition will be satisfied only when if is false. So it becomes equal to Okay, if contains digit is false, has to have any, uh, has to have a uh, numeric uh, character. Okay, then let's check the other ones. Okay, and contains letters. Another hmm. okay, so hmm. is upper. Let's check the upper. Your passport has to contain an upper case. Character. Okay. By the way, let's rename this to contains lowercase. Okay, when I change its name, Visual Studio tells me that rename it to new one. And when I rename it like this, it changes all reference to that. You see, now it is renamed it here as well. Okay, so what other check? We have special character check. Okay, finally. Okay, uh, however, do not uh, leave your message like this because user would get confused. Tell the user more information. And I am going to tell them this. Uh, there is list, uh, there is string join, and how will I join them? I will join them with um, comma, and then the objects is special character list. Okay, so this is the uh, this is our password check. Let's uh, do our password check as well and uh, debug and see how it works. Where we will call our password check, we will call it here. If the result is not false, then we will check the password is valid or not. So it will be like this, check if password is valid so we will provide the password like this okay uh, 
Okay, we have name it is as password. However, password, uh, we, since we have used password box, you have to uh, convert it to string like this. And So you cannot just uh, send it as uh, text. This is the way converting password box to text. Okay. Okay, so then uh, if result is, we can directly return the result for now. Okay, I am putting a breakpoint here. First, uh, maybe we, before we move the uh, password check, first try, let's see how our normalization works. Okay. So, importance of normalization is like this. Let's say I wanted to use uh, username for account. Okay. So, when I click register, uh, Let's see the normalization. So it is at the first stage. Okay, here. Uh, how will it uh, process it? So let's continue. So the username will, is becoming Furkan. Therefore, when I register with username Furkan, uh, the other persons will not be able to use Furkan username. Okay. Uh, however, uh, if I want to keep the users um, as entered the username, let's say I want user to see username Furkan with a uh, first letter uppercase, then I have to uh, check this username normalization at logi login and text okay i will move here when we do text record so uh, i will just uh, comment this out you will understand why why do you know why uh, we need to normalize during login check and during checking against if that username exists in our user database okay uh, if we register the username with normalization then the uh, uppercase or lowercase of uh, that username or the accent of that username would be lost so so if you want users to keep uh, their username styling accent uh, you use normalization only at uh, checking or during registration as well okay okay i think it is understood so i will just i will just do it here so all the usernames will be normalized or no so let's show you the other way it will be better okay let's continue with our password check i know that this video uh, what we are doing will be very confusing for you therefore you should watch and repeat this lecture at least twice. By repeat, I mean that uh, type the code yourself. Okay. B without typing the code, you cannot understand it. Uh, okay. So let's enter a valid username. Okay. For password, let's enter a simple password like 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. And I am re-entering. First, I will re-enter password with different thing. And when I click register, I'm removing the uh, breakpoints here. Okay, so our register method is called. This will check if the password uh, is valid or not, if it satisfies the rules we have defined it or not. So first we create an instance of this object. You see, this is an instance of action result class. An object from the action result class. You see action result class is not uh, static. You see it is not static because I need an instance of that class for each time user tries to register or another user register or such. Okay. Therefore, this class is not static. Uh, we compose an instance of that class here. Now I have an object from action result class type and it's initialized that values are true and and a okay not available first we are checking whether the uh, two entered passwords are same you see the first password is one two three four five six and the repeated password is one two three four five six a a therefore they are not equal uh, so this check has failed however it will enter other checks as well because i didn't add rule if i want to add a rule uh, to not check this i need to make it like this because this would overwrite the first miscondition uh, equal to true so now uh, this will be entered only if previous rules are satisfied let's add to the other ones you see and that means both of the rules has to be satisfied okay okay so here for uh, this condition i am adding as well and here and here and here i don't have to do this but if i want user to uh, fix all errors within uh, an order i can edit okay so the user will have more will have better idea of the rules okay let's try again Okay, so the passwords are not matching. So the first check is failed. Therefore, we set the result as false. And we set the message as uh, your entered passwords are not matching. Please re-enter your password. Okay. Then the other checks will not be uh, executed. However, this one will be because we didn't add an if check there. So let's continue until here and finally it will return the check result okay and then i can show that to the user let's uh, do another check so let's this uh, make this time um, like this okay okay let's try again so the first one has passed and the second one is the length requirement length has failed therefore your password has to be minimum eight characters so uh, let's remove all breakpoints and show the result to the user okay if register result uh, item one equal to false message box show uh, register result item two this is how you can use a tuple. You see, first I uh, access the item one, which is the registration result, and the item two is the registration message. 
uh, when you are recording video about your project about your semester project i want you to show every case of your project like this and explain it okay so first i am typing like this it's you see it tells me that your username cannot contain character one so it has failed at the username check therefore it didn't even uh, enter at the password check you see then i am trying to fix it like this you see it says your username cannot be less than three characters when i edit like this you see now it says your password has to be minimum eight characters okay so let's check each rule we have defined it. First rule. Okay, it says your passwords are not matching. Then I am entering as matching. You see it, say, it says it has to be 8 minimum characters. Now test a uh, letter rule like this. You see it says your password has to contain a letter. Let's add a letter and try again. Now it says your password has to contain an uppercase character. Let's make this uppercase. Now it says your password has to contain a lowercase character. Let's add a lowercase. Now it says your password has to contain a special character. Use any of these characters at least one time. You see the list uh, items are... Uh, uh, converted into a string with a separator as comma however it is not very uh, understandable right now so c sharp message box font size let's make the font size a little bit bigger i wonder if it is possible i don't know Okay, it says there is a work work around which is hmm. no, not this one. I don't want it. Okay. This may not be possible with an easy way. I want the message size to be bigger. Okay, it says you cannot do this as the message box inherently uses operation system font style. Hmm. It seems like we are not able to change its font size. But these messages are too old. Maybe there is a new one.
I see. So it is not possible. However, we can add uh, a new button. Okay, so it will compli complicate the things. Uh, I will just pass it for now. However, we can change uh, our string join here. So I will join them with a top character like this. Let's uh, continue to our lecture. So uh, this was the final thing we had tested. Let's continue testing. Test. Okay, you see now they are separated with top character. It says your password has to contain a special character. Use any of these characters at least one time. I think we can separate them with a space character, which would look the best, probably. Yeah, it looks looking be uh, better. Now let's add a special character that we have defined it like this. And let's click. Okay, you see nothing is displayed uh, because we don't display anything when it is success. If it is successful, if it is true, let's show as uh, you have success fully registered. Now you will be redirected to uh, logout in panel. Okay. You will be, or let's say, automatically log it in. Okay, let's show this message. Okay, you have successfully registered. Now you will be automatically log it in. You see. It was a success. Okay, so you see we are trying to keep a main window class with as much as possible as minimal code. Okay, because we don't want to get this main window populated with code. Therefore, I am moving my code to the external classes and I use class calls, uh, method calls, like here. However, uh, I, 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 I am doing the uh, user interface related things in here, like show message box and such that. Okay, now we have seen, uh, now we have uh, passed the password and username part then uh, then the uh, registration uh, real part comes which is saving user uh, to the database or file in our example we will use a text file also we need to check the uh, email of the user whether it is valid email or not Let's try to find a ready function for that. Okay, you see these are regexes. Okay, so this is the email check. Okay. Email validation is a hard thing. You need to cover all valid email addresses. Okay. 
Okay, I think this is a good one. Okay, let's add the main functions or helper method. I will add it to helper method. Email check. So, you see, I will make this also a static because I don't need instances of that. And it will take an email address. And you see, it requires using system.net mail. And it will try to generate an email address from this one you see uh, since there is a, a case difference between email address and here uh, it shows an error because c sharp is a case sensitive programming language and if there is an error it will show it will return false so i am doing a try catch here a simple one and i will check uh, if the uh, email result is true or false so if this dot okay so maybe no instance email and I will make this method also as an extension method so I am adding a, this keyword here and let's name it as uh, is valid email equal to true okay or i can leave it like this as well however i have to add text okay let's say is valid email and if it is not valid email so i am adding a negation operator here uh, I will change the uh, parameters of VR result to false and text message as your entered email is not a valid email address. Please check your email. Okay. Then I will return the result like this let's try okay test password and i am just writing test you see your entered email is not a valid email address please check your email let's make it test at still not valid and let's write like this still not valid oh so test at c is valid i don't know if it is valid or not probably not so you may need to uh, evaluate your email whether it is valid or not okay so you can also alternatively use regex function email check is totally up to you okay so we have coded the basic uh, methodologies to verify username password and email however we still didn't make uh, user data list okay because we cannot allow user to uh, we cannot allow different users to register with same username we didn't make that yet also we didn't record users um, password username and their email we have to record them okay and so how we will how we will do that i will explain it i will take a pause for a moment okay uh, so uh, now we will uh, register the user into a text file after we have verified everything To do that, uh, once uh, every stage is passed uh, in our try to register method, what we need to do is uh, writing uh, user details to a file. But before that, we haven't checked yet that 
whether that username is already registered or not so uh, I will add, it, add that method into the check if uh, username valid uh, method here and it is in helper method so let's first define the uh, users file uh, name equal to users.txt okay so this will be the file to keep uh, usernames passwords and emails after uh, the username has passed i will scan user file and check if that username exists or not to do that we are going to do uh, this if uh, file you see when i type file it shows that no uh, it doesn't exist in the current context because i have to add uh, system io library and check file exists and it is its name is sr users file name so if there is a previous to uh, composite users txt then i will scan it how i will scan it i will scan it with read lines by the way this is not the efficient way because each time when we check a user exists or not it will read the entire file uh, however for you now this is uh, sufficient uh, normally we would use a relational database like MSSQL, MySQL, uh, SQLite uh, and such okay and it will read uh, the each line in this file okay and I will read it inside for each loop like this and we are per line okay so in each uh, line we will uh, keep three information what information we will keep we will keep this first username of the account then i will separate username with semicolon because i don't allow semicolon in the username you see semicolon character is not allowed in usernames therefore i can uh, use that uh, in uh, text file uh, for separating username then i will separate uh, i will add the password and it will be hashed password then another semicolon to separate email because semicolon is not a valid character in emails you see which characters are I have to use a character that is not uh, valid in any of our um, uh, variables you see these are the characters that are allowed and there is no semicolon as you can see therefore I can use semicolon uh, as a separator but I cannot use dollar or dot or uh, these ones because they are valid characters in uh, emails okay so this will be a uh, structure of my uh, users txt one moment okay so uh, the username will be line split i will use split method and i will split it with a semicolon and i will get the first instance okay the first variable did we see split before let me check it in a moment if we haven't seen split method i will show it
Okay, we didn't show the split method. Split method is used to split a string into the uh, substring. So let's start with it. List uh, string lst splitted uh, strings equal to we are pair line split. Okay. And the split separator will be semicolon character and i then i have to convert it into a list like this this is the link you link you extension and split is from a uh, split is string operator okay so uh, the first element inside this list will be will be my uh, account username because this is the way i have uh, saved them it is totally up to you how to save it and uh, how to process it so um, will be Uh, first uh, string in the list and then I will check that equal to users uh, equal to my username here however when I do this check I have to apply my normalization okay also, you see, uh, if we want to allow uh, Turkish characters to be used like here, uh, then I I need to not remove the critics. Okay, uh, but no, 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 I I will remove the critics, so it we will not allow uh, same the critics having. So uh, it is normalized username and here normalize username you see i apply both sides normalize username method extension to normalize usernames when checking and if it exists on the file uh, i will return that this username exists okay Uh, is not available please pick another username okay so i need to test this uh, before i move to the next stage uh, to test it let's open the debug folder of our project from you see right click here open folder in explorer uh, open uh, bin folder open debug and here I am composing a manual uh, text file name it as users and I am opening it then I will type uh, like this and this will be test pass one and test email okay so when I uh, use test uh, check Furkan and let's add another uh, username like this okay something like this for example okay so let's test our software is working or not i am removing all breakpoints okay there is no breakpoints i am putting a breakpoint here then running the application Okay, I will start checking with a user's name that is not exist uh, thing on uh, the list. Okay, so test one 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 and test one one a and test one a will be registered. Okay, so this username does not exist on the file. So let's uh, execute step by step. 
you see our file name is user txt it does exist here and when i move to the next line you will, you will see the first read line is like this okay it is registered in the format we have defined then split will split it into the three substrings based on this separator character and you see now they are split into the first element furkan the second element is test password the third element is this one and uh, i want to show you something else as well you see it does split anything uh, like this i can if i make it like this it will split uh, with empty character as well so you will understand how the split works Okay, one moment. Okay, okay. So let's uh, test it again. Okay, let's step over. Okay, the first line is split like this: full test password one test email, because I have uh, saved it like this. You see it is split it correctly then the registered username is you see furkan and it will check furkan is equal to new selected uh, username or not it is not therefore it will continue to checking next line and it will check whether it does exist or not OS and OS will be normalized to see its normalized form let's uh, define let's make it like this um, this is for illustration proposals to show you how it is normalized or not and you see i will add also a space character here and let's make this like this and it's okay then the we are normalized selected username okay 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 let's add some special characters so you will understand how the normalization works okay all right and let's continue okay so the registered username first read one is furkan and uh, let's see the normalized username of course furkan and our normalized username has become like this you see now it is uh, normalized as here and what we have chosen is this one however uh, the small i is not removed uh, therefore to remove it i need to make something else what i need to do is uh, in the normalization method first i have to convert it to uppercase to upper with uh, new culture info uh, en us then remove diacritics then uh, convert it to lower let's uh, see it again There may be uh, other uh, written ready frameworks, methods, uh, libraries for this. Okay, so Furkan and the second one. Okay, now it has become like this. So this is the normalized version. 
you see now it is exactly as I wanted. Uh, the Turkish character U became U as expected. The Turkish character I became I as you can see. The Turkish character Ş became, became S as you can see. So it is normalized as expected. Then it will check whether it exists or not. And since it does exist, it will continue. And you see this saved character name is uh, Oz and it becomes August as you can see uh, so it works okay so this does not exist in our uh, list therefore it passes now let's try with something on the list okay I will try uh, um, August so my application should not allow me to register with August because August username already exists in my database in my users list so let's try it okay register username for fun it will pass and register username is oz you see it has also empty character at the end here space character then when i normalize it it becomes ogus and my selected username is like this ogus and when i normalize it it becomes ogus and when i check it you see they are same therefore I also need to add it here return because it, it should not continue for each loop after um, we have found that it that username exists okay so you see it doesn't allow me to return and therefore I need to break it here I will break the loop I don't need to continue looping and it will be returned here okay let's try again okay let's make this password and let's write it like this okay you should use uh, breakpoints debug uh, to understand how the application works and test it. Okay, August equal to August. When you compare strings, even, even a single letter is different, even a case is different, uh, it will not be echo because the string comparison is done by exactly as uh, character by character and okay we set the result false we set the result message then we break the loop and then we return to check result and when i run the continue run the application you see your selected username is not available please pick another username okay so this is about normalization and ensuring that no one registers with same username all right and once everything is passed and everything is valid here i will verify if the result is true or not okay if result is true then i will write that user into my uh, file how will i do that i will do that like uh, i need to add here using site system io to do a text operation and I will uh, append uh, text. Okay. Append text uh, creates a file if it does not exist. And if exist, it will append it to end of it. Okay. So the file name is, uh, we have defined the file name here. You see, therefore I will make it public so I can access it in main functions as well. How will I, I access it? I will use the full path as helper methods dot or username and uh, by the way this will be append all text not append text okay and the text I will be appending will be like this so uh, let's write another method as um, uh, generate private string private static string uh, generate uh, user uh, user 
um, info format. Uh, it will take uh, string as our username, uh, string as our password, and string as our um, email. So it will return uh, username plus uh, my separator character. Oh, I should also set separator character uh, from uh, here. What I mean is public static character. Uh, see our um, user info separator character. So if I change the character later, I won't have to change uh, my uh, source code. So I will use this as separator character. And when I do split, I will use it here like this. And okay. And here uh, I will reference it. Okay. Um, Alpha methods, CR separator character plus uh, SR password plus helper method separator character plus um, email plus SR separator character. Let's format this a little bit better this okay so this is our uh, generate user format and i will call the method file append all text so i will provide the username as uh, let's see username and the user um, password register password text to string i mean and the main window instance uh, txt email dot text okay so let's remove all the break uh, points run the application So this will be uh, this method uh, will be called uh, only if everything has passed. Okay, so let's try first with an existing uh, account to see Furkan Furkan A Furkan A Furkan A Gmail Compute register. Okay, your user your selected username is not available. So let's see if our file is modified. No, it is not modified yet. So let's try uh, some valid password to see like this. So this will be password. Okay, you see your username cannot contain character two, and it is still fine. So let's make the username like this. You see your selected username is not available. It is still fine and let's change the last letter like this and it should uh, work fine and uh, append to our text file let's try it complete register okay you have successfully registered now you will be automatically logged in we haven't coded it yet and let's check if file okay file is modified okay you see we have an error what is our error we didn't uh, add new line character uh, to uh, in front of our uh, um, uh, username or end of the username and therefore what I am going to do is uh, I will delete everything and I will modify the application so we don't need this one the last one here but what we need is plus environment new line you can alternatively use uh, you can use uh, this one for new line as well so i have deleted previous record let's register again 
So I will delete the file as well. So you will see how it will be composed. So the file append uh, creates the text file if it does not exist. And if it exists, uh, it just appends to end of the file. You see, opens the file, appends the specified string to the file, and then closes the file. If the file does not exist, this method creates a file, writes the specified string to the file, then closes the file. So this is how the file append all text method works. Okay, let's uh, check it out. Let's delete this. Let's complete register. And, and uh, okay, it is not registered yet. Okay, it says that the parameter address cannot be an empty string. So an error happened. What it says, it okay. I know. Okay, I see. So I will uh, just remove this catch exception. So it will catch all. It was trying to catch specific error, but now it will catch all the errors. Okay, so let's try again. Put on. Okay, you see your entered email is not valid email address. It is true, it is not valid. Let's make it valid. Okay, you have successfully registered. Let's see. Uh, let's reload. Okay, you see now it is registered. Let's register another account. When I try register, your selected username is not available. Please pick another username. Let's make this as uh, Furkan uh, Gözükara. Okay. You see, it is registered and each line is a different user. Let's try again. Uh, Furkan Teacher. Register it. Let's try. Okay. You see, it is working as expected right now. However, we have a problem. What is our problem? If I add semicolon to my password, now I cannot use uh, my application properly. Why? Uh, because when I uh, split uh, the data with semicolon now uh, it will generate more uh, value therefore the normally the first element in the list will be username the second element will be password and the third element will be email however now first element will be username second element and password will be this one okay not only this one therefore uh, it would break my application. Also, you should never save user passwords as uh, naked text. Okay, because it is an, an extremely uh, dangerous uh, vulnerability in your application. If a hacker, if a hacker hacks your system, uh, the hacker would have all user passwords. Therefore, what we need to do is we need to hash uh password then save it so uh, i will add a hashing method uh, to uh, in uh, main i will add it to the helper methods okay or yeah helper methods i can add it so what will be what we will be using for uh, hashing we will use sh 256 so what is sh 256 if you wonder let's get information related to that as well hashing also known as hash functions in cryptography is a process of mapping a binary string of an arbitrary length to a small binary string of a fixed length known as a hash value a hash code or a hash hash functions are a common way to protect secure sensitive data such as passwords and digital signatures some of the modern commonly used hash functions are md5 ripemd160 sha1 sha256 sha384 and sha512 hashing is a one-way conversion 
you cannot unhash hash data. The Net framework provides cryptography-related functionality encapsulated in system, security, cryptography namespace and its classes. The hash algorithm class is the base class for hash algorithms including MD5, RIPEMD160, SHA1, SHA256, SHA384, and SHA512. The compute hash method of hash algorithm computes a hash. It takes a byte array or stream as an input and returns a hash in the form of a byte array of 256 bits. Okay, by the way, it says that these are commonly used modern hash functions. However, these three are um, uh, easier to crack right now. Therefore, you should use at least uh, this one and the above ones because as the hash length, as the hash bits uh, size increases it is becoming harder uh, to crack uh, therefore you should use at least SHA 256 this will generate uh, 64 character length uh, string uh, so I'm going to just copy paste the, this method to add it to my application and I will make it as uh, public static and uh, as an extension with this keyword you see it says there is no such uh, class therefore i am adding system security cryptography okay now my hash function is ready and uh, in my um, uh, format method here i will uh, uh, convert password to um sh 256 version hash okay so now let's register again and you will see how password will uh, look uh, instead of raw password okay and let's try something like this and let's use this as a password and test at email call okay register it let's see how the password is saved let's reload you see now password is displayed like this this is in uh, this is hexadecimal code it is in 16 base so you see a is base uh, a is 10 in base 16 uh, this is um, 11 and uh, this is uh, 12 uh, and such so this is in base 16 and it is at the sh 256 will always generate fix it at 64 characters length uh, string output and it will have one to 9 and a b c d e characters only so now we have the hashed uh, version of the password and whenever i register with this password it will always generate this as an hash okay and therefore now uh, whatever the user uses it will not break my semicolon so user may have use uh, this in the password let's register again with uh, this one as a password okay. you see same length always 64 character length whatever i enter i can even enter much bigger password like this 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 and let's for example let's enter entire uh, line as a password we didn't put a password limit by the way okay then i have to add some uppercase so i will uh, let's uh, let's make it let's copy this this is a really long password let's delete this and delete this okay now you see uh, this password has been converted this password has been converted into this this is what is hashing doing you you can look uh, for what is uh, sh2 
156 hashing from Wikipedia. Wikipedia and you can learn more about it. Okay, so now we are able to register users uh, correctly. By the way, I have to remove older uh, registrations because they don't use uh, hashed uh, passwords. Therefore, they would break my future coding. And this is fine. You, you can also check whether that email already registered or not. Not actually, you should check it. And therefore you need to write additional uh, method to check whether that email address exists or not. Let's add a check for that as well. So in the is valid email, uh, I am going to check an additional uh, parameter and actually I will make that check inside uh, this loop because I shouldn't write additional loop uh, because it would be extra work so uh, let's make another check here okay okay so it this method takes if username valid or not and username I will add uh, email parameter here as well and here I will get the email as the uh, third split uh, variable and I will check if okay your selected email if already registered Please check your email. However, uh, if you make like this, someone else may register uh, with your email and um, prevent you from using your own email. Uh, so this is kind of uh, dangerous. Therefore, you should add additional checking system in your additional uh, check mechanisms such as verify your email uh, however this is how would you check whether that email is used or not okay it says that you see I have to provide email uh, as well now like this let's try So you see with my tuple, I am returning boolean and string as a result from here. The, the boolean variable is being the result and the string is being the result message. Okay, so let's test. So let's write password and register. Okay, you see it says that there is no such item because uh, it has tried to uh, read empty line. Where do I have empty line? You see at the end of my file, uh, I have empty line now. You see 4 and 5. I can see it by show symbol and show all characters. You see there is... A new line character here which is invisible normally therefore my application has caused an error uh, to prevent that error uh, you can do you can add additional check like uh, if or like this Uh, continue you make it you, you can make it like this uh, however uh, these also have some drawbacks you should never have um, unintended format in your uh, text files uh, this would prevent the error just happened but I will uh, remove it because we don't want 
unintended format to exist in our format so i'm deleting that unnecessary files you see now it is ending at the tree however it should end on um, four i think because we are adding a new line character at the end and yeah i will add that check to here okay now it should work let's see yeah the end of line character is lastly added here so there is no uh, character here therefore it will work just remove this we don't need this and let's try again so the last line that will be read will be this one not here uh, because uh, this is the last character we have so this is carry each return and new line let's make some password register okay it says your password has complained and numeric character so let's um use this as a password with like this okay now this should work okay now we have registered let's reload okay it is working and let's try this okay you see your selected email is already registered please check your email okay registration has failed then I can add another email like this. Now it will work. Okay. Uh, I think uh, for this week, this is enough. Uh, I will continue with login next week. Uh, I don't want to overwhelm you. Uh, let's uh, note what we have seen uh, in this lecture. So it will be kind of recap. Okay, so what we have seen. First, uh, what is tuple and how to use? tuple so let's read the definition of tuple we have seen how it works but reading its definition is also good c sharp tuple the tuple less than t greater than class was introduced in .NET framework 4.0 a tuple is a data structure that contains a sequence of elements of different data types it can be used where you want to have a data structure to hold an object with properties, but you don't want to create a separate type for it. The following example creates a tuple with three elements. So you see the first element is integer, second element is string, and third element is string. In the above example, we created an instance of the tuple that holds a person's record. We specified a type for each element and passed values to the constructor. Specifying the type of each element is cumbersome. C Sharp includes a static helper class tuple, which returns an instance of the tuple less than t greater than without specifying each element's type, as shown below. So you can also create that instance uh, like this. You see the constructor is this one. This is the constructor method of tuple. We will see about constructors in the next semester all right so we have seen uh, what is tuple and how to use tuple uh, structures okay and um, uh, we have seen uh, how to use a split extension method of sitting to separate a sitting uh, into sub uh, strings array or class or list okay 
and um, what else we have seen okay how to remove uh, how to normalize normalize a text um, how to normalize the text to prevent same username registration with different accent or um, typing okay um, how to normalize text to achieve uh, accent in sensitive and case in sensitivity okay access in sensitivity and case in sensitivity uh, when you uh, we will see in next semester that when you use databases like mysql msql you can set your database to be case insensitive and accent insensitive However, currently we are using text files. Therefore, in our program, we have to uh, do that accent insensitivity and case insensitivity. We can also we can also look what accent insensitive and case insensitive like. okay you see maybe okay you can read that whole i will just continue so this is about like this uh, for example um, okay when accent is sensitive um old and old are different when accent is um when case is sensitive old and old are different or else okay i think it is now clear okay let's make it like this okay and we have seen the two upper two lower. okay how to uh, remove the critics from sitting okay how to use upper and to lower uh, methods for text normalization okay and all right okay how to how to write or let's say Oil exists. Okay, uh, how to sing in a valid, valid email address? Okay, how to compute? how to yeah 
you see uh, method extensions has to be static and all right okay main functions You see, for example, when I call this method, I provide two uh, variables because my method takes uh, two variables like this. Uh, you should already know it. How to... You see, with this try and catch, invalid uh, emails does not crash our application. Otherwise, our application crashes, uh, which has happened as you, uh, in the in this lecture. You have seen that. Okay, next week, continue from same application with login. Okay, uh, how to? Um... Okay, uh... This is good. Right. How to move um, code complexity from uh, main window plus to uh, external classes okay um, keep only user interface related code in main window class you see we have moved all the code inside our main window class into the uh, external classes such as in helper methods class and in main function class this is functional programming and uh, in static variables for example all right uh, i want you to watch this video at least twice and write all the code we have written in this lecture at least twice because it is really important for you to write every bit of code not just to copy paste and watch the video at least twice i know these, these are extremely confusing uh, these are very hard to understand but software engineering is an is is a hard uh, profession it is not easy your your career will be not be easy there will be a lot of competition and also uh, this profession is hard okay uh, so you have chosen the hard way therefore it will not be easy but by the time uh, you will understand it uh, also we didn't uh, analyze the code written inside review of the acritics um, 
it is not really important right now because it just works and that's what we need all right i am going to upload source code to our github repository now okay If you have any questions, please ask from our uh, Discord channel so your friends can also see. Uh, you can also ask from my email, but if it is not uh, a private question, you should ask from Discord so everyone can learn. Uh, hopefully see you uh, next week.